wins a gold medal in the discus competition for the women, and Stephanie Brown Trafton is that person. Stephanie is a graduate of Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, six-time All-American while competing up there. She is a two-time Olympian. And Stephanie, one of the things that, as I looked at your record, I wanted to ask you a little bit about is the word confidence. You threw 217 in a fraction in Salinas, a lifetime best early in the year, or actually leading up to the Olympic trials. Then you are third on the U.S. team going into the, into the games. All right, as we build toward the competition itself, you are the leader after the preliminary rounds. Surprising a few people, arching a few eyebrows, maybe not yours, and then on the very first throw in the Olympic finals, you throw 212.5. That you didn't know at the time, but that is enough to win an Olympic gold medal. Talk a little bit about that transition from Salinas that took you into the Olympic distance ring. I had a great year. Uh, as you say, Salinas was my best opportunity to, to throw far. Thank you. It was my best opportunity to have a really good throw because of the wind. But in Beijing, there's absolutely no wind. It's very humid, very hot. But it was able. I was able to put out a throw that was about 212 feet, um, which was probably my second best mark ever, or second best marks ever, especially in those conditions. I had an awesome season. And I really um, encourage you guys all to come out and check me so you can see us throw far some more. I, I am also intrigued by the fact that you list among uh, idols Mary Lou Retton as you were growing up. Talk a little bit about how that got started. Were you a gymnast to begin with? No, I never did. Uh, I never did gymnastics as a kid, but I was really, uh, you know, I was really captivated by her on television. And uh, I'm sure some of the, a lot of the girls in the audience today may have even seen um, Sean Johnson and Nasia Weekend in uh, in Beijing. Um, but it was really cool to be able to meet Nastya and Sean, and then they come up to my hip about. So I figured I could probably throw them as far as I can throw a distance, but I didn't, didn't exactly try. Well, some of these folks, our shot putters, are going to prime for some indoor competition. That certainly doesn't include you as a discus thrower. You don't get started until the outdoors. What can we look forward to from you as we uh, approach the outdoor season? This year, my goals are to win a national championship and to break the American record in the discus. And I'm sure you guys, uh, maybe some of you actually know what the American record is, but I'll tell you, it's 222 feet. And I'm really excited about uh, going for that record. And I think maybe even back in Salinas, we might uh, be, if that, you know, the winds and all that conditions might be a good opportunity to hit the American record. Stephanie, we promised people that you would make your way around the crowd and let them handle your gold medal. Would you mind doing that for us? I, yeah, you guys can handle and uh, definitely, but I would also like to encourage, I, I, I didn't bring a discus, but if you guys ask me what the Chinese call the discus, I'll tell you exactly what they're called. I won't tell it to you now, but if you ask me when I come around, I'll tell you what the Chinese call the discus. All right, you've got two treats. You're going to learn what the Chinese call a discus, and you're going to get an up-close and personal look at an Olympic gold medal. Thanks a lot, Stephanie. Congratulations on the sensational 2008.